Why does Brian Armstrong hate you? I don't think Brian Armstrong hates me at all. I've never met the man. Uh, you know, maybe we saw each other once at a conference or said something over Twitter, but uh, Brian's Brian. I'm Charles. You know, he knows of me. I know of him. Uh, and there's no bad blood between our organization, Coinbase. Coinbase is very busy. <laughs> They're going through an S1 filing right now. They, uh, they've had a lot of events uh, from the New York Times article to some downsizing, uh, you know, if it, it, to go from a private to a public traded company is one of the most stressful things you can do. And I think this is Brian's first IPO. It is not easy. It's brutal. Absolutely brutal. Uh, I don't know how John Doerr did it 192 times. It's just, uh, it's hell. So the last thing the world Coinbase wakes up and thinks about these days is Cardano. Okay. We're very low on the list of things to talk about or think about. They got bigger fish to fry and they got bigger things to concern about. Um, and all my interactions with the Coinbase personnel have been positive and professional. And uh, we um, loved working on integration of Rosetta. And we integrated Rosetta, I think, 1.44. And we just recently launched the final version of that library. And we're working on a staking version of that library as well. And uh, that's all I really can say about it. But there's no bad blood or bad relationship. Remember, guys, to us, Cardano is the most important thing in the world. Um, when you're a different company in Coinbase, it's a five minute conversation for a 24 hour day, if that. So you just got to be patient. And that's why the world is diverse, because there are some people around where we're far more prominent to them and they give us more time of day. And so uh, patience is really a key. And you just wait, just relax. So good things happen to those who wait.